the, uh, the Xantharia black boy grass tree uh, has a wonderful history. It's, uh, it was included in the Second World War. The, uh, I'm not sure what aspect of it, but it was uh, the resin was powderized and used as uh, in replacement of saltpeter or something connected with that. Um, loves being burnt uh, to regenerate. Uh, it's a wonderful umbrella for kangaroos. Stuff like this, and, and they become so tall that you can climb them. And most of the ones you see around aren't very big, but around Ebor, the, the largest ones I've ever seen exist. And uh, some of the most beautiful ones are in Western Australia and um, around the south of Perth. How, how did it come about? Um, a long quest for the most beautiful Australian tree. It took me all over Australia and I've seen every type of, every variety of that particular tree and I know quite a little bit about its history. The title is Xantharia. It's the botanical name for grass tree or black boy as they used to call it. Um, the, uh, the etching was done in 1985 in the studio of Whiteley being the reason why I've donated that particular piece. I uh, work with Brett Whiteley in his studio or in David Preston's studio, Jeannie in the David Preston studio in 1985 where I created the etching. He was working on something else and it was a, uh, a shared studio uh, with other artists who were doing etching at the time. And uh, it was nice to see, nice working with someone like that. He was having a lot of trouble writing his name backwards <laughs> during that time. And it's hard, and it's hard when you're doing an etching, you have to think in reverse. Give us a little insight as to what, one, what the viewer can expect to see when next, uh, on your next uh, show. Um, well, the subject matter has been taken out of three areas. One, Spain one India and one Australia and uh, there's a move towards uh, reproducing the, the sculptures that exist in the paintings and, and other stage aspects of the landscape. Um, so there's, a, there's more of a direction towards sculpture. So you're still working uh, theatrically? Definitely, always. <laughs> Very much a trademark what your work is. Yeah, yeah. The desert as a stage, life as a stage, the desert as a stage. And all the subtleties of that. Have you got a fascination about walls? Yeah, I love walls. Why do you like them? Don't know, they're just uh, another stage, it's a vertical stage. Walls and doors. Walls, doors, and desert floors. <laughs> <laughs>